right guys in this video we're going to talk about crappie habitat or crappie structures and uh, putting out your own stuff if you want to do something to attract crappie to it to be able to go back at certain times of the year and, and fish it and um, on this particular video I put in structure in three different places now these places here are, are places that are going to be where crappie are first migrating out of deeper water. This could be on a river system or, or lake systems, but they'll migrate out of the deeper water and start coming into the creek channels to come up into the areas where they usually spawn at. So this is, this is gonna be the first step that a crappie makes on his journey into a spawning ground. And as the season or as the, as the spring comes on and crappie start moving in shallower, I'll, uh, go back and put some more structures in in a little bit shallower water. But these are the very first structures that a crappie is gonna come by on his migration into these channels that feed into the feeder creeks and, and the areas where they're gonna eventually work their way back into the back of these creeks and around the weed beds and things and uh, do their spawning. The only reason I'm putting these structures in here is to catch fish that's gonna be just stacking up and they will. Sometimes they'll be, you know, you could have a certain piece of uh, treetop or something out there, whatever type of structure, could have 200 crappie on it. So that's the reason I got this type of structure in different locations. And I'll make some more videos later showing how to get a little bit closer to the spawning ground and uh, install some more structures for this crappie to get on. I'll just explain a little bit what I've got here. So I've got these crepe myrtle stalks and the base of them, some of them is, you know, three or four inches around. So what I did, I took a wood drill bit and I drilled a hole about six inches up from the butt, the butt of the, the tree, drilled a hole through it. And I'm using uh, some uh, heavy gauge copper wire. And I went through the end of the wood and just tied a loop on that end. And then I've been in the granite business all my life. So I have these granite cutouts, the sink cutouts, and they're the perfect weight to hold these individual pieces of wood down. Also, you'll notice that there's some uh, plastic bottles tied to the tops of these trees. I've got uh, one or two 20 ounce Gatorade bottles tied to the top of the trees. That way, whenever I drop that granite down, that granite will seat in the bottom of, of the lake, whether it be rock, muck, whatever it is but those pieces of granite seep down a lot better than, than it would be if you're putting it in a five gallon bucket. Some of these banks where I'm fishing at is a steep bank and I've tried putting in structures with concreted buckets and what happens is that bucket wants to tip over, but I want my trees to stand straight up. So this, this wire and this setup right here allows them to stand straight up and you'll see on the uh, depth finder that these things are standing straight up and those two little water bottles or two little Gatorade bottles, you know, that big round, are balancing that tree to hold it up. So that works like a buoy to hold the top of it up. So that's what we're doing, and uh, welcome back to AWF Outdoors. Crappie. So uh, 
Let's go to the next one. All right, that's number two. Gonna run up the river and drop a couple more. So some of these places I'm gonna start off with one. And uh, they're in the area where I catch fish anyway. So I'm gonna see if I can't get them attracted to that. And if they come on over to that one, I'll drop some more in there. Uh, I put a lot of structures out before in places that I wanted crappie to be and they never came to it. So I've learned if a crappie is not wanting to be in an area, it's gonna be hard to attract them to it. But if you'll put it close to where they're already gonna be, uh, and just by fishing years of experience and knowing where they're gonna be at certain times, I know where I need to put this structure. So don't think you can attract a crappie just by putting structure in. You need to put it where they want where they want to be and where they're gonna be migrating into these channels. So uh, that's what we're doing today, and uh, let's go to the next one. All right, get the last one here. Yeah, we're tying a granny down to the bottom of it. Right here, fine, Joe. You gonna drop it? Drop it to the left side. Yeah. That's dropped in uh, 29, 29 feet. My structure is 18 feet tall. So anyway, that's those three. We're gonna ride around now. I'll, I'll ride across this stuff and see what I see. And uh, I might look at a couple places and see if there's any crappie on it. And then we're heading out of here because it's supposed to be raining here in an hour or so. But we had a couple hour window here and we decided to come down here and drop this stuff. So, uh, Let's see what's on these, see what these structures look like on sonar anyway. There's one. And I would say, I would say we'll probably drop them pretty close to being on top of each other because it makes them, makes one big glob there. So them two is right on each other. Okay, here we come back into it again. So we're coming away from the bank. You got a slope coming off the bank right there and then it drops down into the creek channel. And I got the structure at the base of the creek channel. So you see the contours coming down. All right, we're gonna drop off down here. The base of this creek's gonna be about 29, 30 feet deep. And I got that structure just up off the creek right there. So this channel right here is where the, where the crop here is coming in off the river in this deeper water and they migrate into these creeks and back in the backwaters for the spawning. So the first structures they come to whenever they're coming in there, I mean, we got fish all over the place right now on there. You see these arches, they'll be using that right there immediately because this is a, one of the first structures they come to whenever they come into this creek. So every crappie that comes in this creek is gonna be coming by that structure and they'll be hanging out on it. So uh, I'm looking forward to catching some fish right here. We're gonna smoke them. All right, so that's uh, that's the third section that we put stuff in. And by the way, uh, if y'all putting structure out in, in water, public waters or anywhere, uh, get permission from whoever you have to to put the structure in the, in the water. Uh, I've talked to the Army Corps of Engineers already. I've got permission from them to put the structure out and that way I don't run into no issues. And I would suggest that you do the same. So uh, just be able to, just be sure to get a hold of whoever's running that certain lake or Alabama Power, uh, Army Corps, whoever's got to get your permission before you go out here and do this. So uh, let's go look at one of these other structures that we dropped previously. I'm gonna look at two more and then we're gonna be heading out here. All right, we're gonna pull up here and look at the, the first two structures we dropped in. It's gonna be one piece here on this one. And then we'll go on down the river and and uh, look at the other one. But this right here is going to be the second piece that we put in. All right, we should be coming up on it here somewhere. All right, right there. 
right there it is. That's your, that's your piece of structure right there. It comes up to about five foot of the surface. It's in uh, 17 foot of water. You see all these fish out here in the creek channel? They're gonna be right there. Let's go look at the other one. See if I can hit it right here. We're in 25 feet of water. Okay, right there is the structure. It comes up to seven and a half feet of the top. We got a fish hanging off the left side of it right here. Got a few more small fish there. We got another big fish right here at 10 foot. And uh, we just dropped that in there. You can look around in here, you see, you don't see a whole lot of bigger fish, but look here, we've already got fish that's staging up here around that structure there. Uh, whereas that structure sitting right on it, come up out of the creek and sit there on the edge. And uh, got fish on it already. These structures right here, I expect them to stack up. And uh, if you'll uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell over on the side and, and go up and hit all, that way you'll get all notifications and on everything that I post. And uh, follow me along this year and and I'll show you what, what comes off these structures here. Uh, these are crepe myrtles and they're 15 to 18 feet tall. I'm putting them in roughly 20 to 30 feet of water and proper placement is the is the key to attracting crappie to them. So, uh, so leave me some questions in the comments if you want to know more about what I've learned over the last few years about putting structure in lakes. Uh, there's some key key things that you really need to know if you really want to attract crappie to them. So uh, yeah hit that subscribe button. Glad to join again today, and we'll see you next time.